I let my instinct take over in the fact of where that critical point is to break the target. Yeah. And then I use whatever method I think your, I need your brain to takes, break that you, target. Subconsciously pulls that yeah. out. Watching you shoot that, seeing shot cam, et cetera, it looks like you use like a maintain to a pull away. And that makes sense because if you need to give it a little more, you'll pull away from it. If you don't, yeah. you just get to the spot and kill it, right? Yeah. But it's not a target that you're really using a, a swing through method on. And myself, I would say my my method for a, a shooting an incoming teal on the drop or shooting the Shondell on the drop, very similar. Kind of a maintain, maybe a little bit of an adjustment that's instinctive. Um, shooting the bird at the apex, if you shot that true teal at the apex or the crow, we might call it at the apex, do you feel like you're kind of just timing it to let the shot run into it as it stalls towards the top? Or how would you describe uh, I that? I feel as though, I actually feel as though my hard focus is only right at the last second. Yep. And and I'm sort of, I, I try and come up to the target. And as I'm coming up to the target with my gun, Everything is above the gun in soft focus, and as I, as I, that target gets to the apex, I insert as I'm coming up to the target, just on the bottom edge and squeeze the trigger. Do you feel like the bird breaks when it's truly at the apex, or break when it starts to come down a little bit? What would be your plan? <sighs> the trouble is, when you've got the gun in your shoulder, you can't actually you tell. can't actually tell. Yep, hard to tell. Uh, and, and and it would be very interesting on video to see that. Yep. I feel like I I plan to pull the trigger when it's got one percent of the rise, so that the shot runs into it. Yeah. Kind of as it stalls. You know, one thing I noticed that you did when I followed behind you at the World Feet Test Championship is sometimes you would shoot, kill that bird at the top, on the single, and then on the pair you'd shoot on the drop. Yeah. You know, maybe just because you had more time and you didn't have to make a rush shot, et cetera. You know, so I thought that was interesting. And I, th I think shooting a dropping target, whether it's a dropping, dropping teal, a dropping chandelle, a curling bird that drops at the end or s some type of a looper, very critical shot to just be confident in your game because it gives you opportunity. Every bird is going to drop eventually, right? Of so if you have the ability to shoot it over there, which obviously you do watching you, You've got more. You got more options. You got more avenues. 